China has achieved a significant milestone in the development of flying taxis. Regulators in China have approved two companies to operate autonomous passenger drones commercially, marking a major step towards commercializing flying taxis. In fact, China has issued its first ever operation certificates for autonomous passenger drones. The air operator certificate will allow the two companies to operate EV tolls for um, commercial passenger services, including urban sightseeing tours. Named EH216S, the low altitude carrier has a carbon fiber body and is fully electric. The flying taxi is capable of flying autonomously. In other words, it does not require a pilot to fly. The flying taxi can carry two passengers and has a maximum flight range of 30 kilometers. It can fly at speeds of up to 130 kilometers per hour. China has been investing heavily in the industry and according to a China-based research group, China's low altitude economy is expected to be worth $207 billion by the end of this year. A flying taxi sounds like a dream, right? But China has made it a reality. On March 30th, 2025, the Civil Aviation Administration of China, CAAC, granted regulatory approval for the world's first commercial autonomous flying taxis. The CAAC issued air operator certificates to two companies, NASDAQ listed Ehang Holdings and Heifei Hei Airlines, allowing them to operate pilotless passenger drones for commercial services. Beyond the impressive headlines and futuristic appeal, the implications of this development extend into multiple dimensions of technology, economics, and urban planning. For instance, the immediate application of these vehicles in urban sightseeing tours reflects not just a novel transportation option, but also a strategic push towards developing what Beijing terms the low-altitude economy. This expansive initiative envisions a future where innovations such as delivery drones, airships, and a range of aerial vehicles become integral to everyday life and economic growth. EH216-S Urban Mobility Yihang, a key player in this unfolding narrative, has long been at the forefront of autonomous aerial vehicle technology. The company's flagship model, the EH216-S, introduced in 2018, exemplifies cutting-edge engineering. This fully electric two-seater equipped with 16 propellers combines a durable yet lightweight carbon fiber fuselage with a cruising speed of 100 km per hour and the capability to ascend to altitudes of up to 3,000 meters. Although initially focused on tourism, the versatility of the EH216-S means its potential applications include air taxi services, airport shuttles, and even inter-island transportation. Such diversity in application highlights the broader ambition of integrating aerial vehicles into a comprehensive urban mobility network. The move to commercialize autonomous flying taxis aligns with broader governmental strategies aimed at driving innovation and economic expansion. Chinese authorities see the low-altitude economy as a critical pillar for future growth, a vision that extends well beyond transportation. Alongside emerging fields such as biomanufacturing, quantum computing, artificial intelligence, and the rollout of 6G networks, the development of pilotless aerial systems is anticipated to be a significant contributor to the country's long-term economic trajectory. Market forecasts further underline the potential impact of these developments. Research from the Huron Group projects that China's low-altitude economy will reach a valuation of 1.5 trillion yuan by the end of 2025, with expectations of growth up to 2.5 trillion yuan by 2035. Such staggering figures are not merely reflective of the transportation sector, but signal a transformation that could reshape urban infrastructures, job markets, and consumer behaviors. As domestic startups like Ehong and Heifei Hei Airlines join forces with established automotive manufacturers such as Xpeng and Geely, the competition is set to intensify, drawing interest from global aviation giants like Boeing, Airbus, and Embraer as they seek to stake their claims in this burgeoning arena. While the potential for a revolutionary change in urban mobility is clear, the road ahead is not without challenges. The transition to pilotless systems raises pertinent questions about public acceptance and the trust needed to rely on autonomous technology for everyday travel. Despite thousands of successful test flights, manufacturers understand that securing consumer confidence will be critical for mass adoption. 
To address these concerns, the vehicles incorporate redundant navigation and communication technologies, along with multiple backup systems designed to maintain safety even under less than ideal conditions. Moreover, remote monitoring centers staffed by human operators stand ready to intervene if necessary, ensuring an additional layer of security and oversight. This regulatory nod by China also has far-reaching implications beyond its borders. In many parts of the world, particularly in the United States and European Union, the regulatory frameworks for autonomous aerial passenger vehicles are still in development. By achieving operational clearance ahead of these markets, China not only establishes itself as a leader in urban air mobility, but also sets a benchmark that could influence international standards. Western regulators, now under increasing pressure to modernize their own systems, may soon find themselves racing to adopt similar frameworks to keep pace with the rapid technological and economic shifts driven by Chinese innovation. The international media landscape has been abuzz with reactions, particularly within U.S. news outlets. Coverage in America exhibits a blend of admiration and caution. Reporters are quick to laud China's forward-thinking approach and rigorous testing regimes while simultaneously raising valid concerns about the long-term reliability and public acceptance of fully autonomous systems. Some analysts have described the scenario as one of competitive anxiety, noting that the proactive regulatory stance adopted by China may compel American companies and regulators to accelerate their own innovation efforts in this space. This sense of urgency is underpinned by the understanding that in the race for urban air mobility, being a first mover could translate into substantial strategic and economic advantages on a global scale. From an urban planning perspective, the integration of autonomous flying taxis presents an exciting opportunity to rethink how cities are designed and managed. By harnessing the vast yet largely underutilized airspace above urban areas, these vehicles have the potential to drastically reduce ground-level congestion, a perennial problem in densely populated cities. Short to medium distance journeys, which traditionally contribute to traffic bottlenecks, could be transformed into swift aerial commutes, thus enhancing overall urban mobility and reducing the environmental footprint associated with ground transportation. Impact on the global market. In addition to the obvious benefits in travel time and congestion management, the emergence of a low altitude economy could stimulate the development of ancillary industries. Infrastructure such as designated landing zones, advanced air traffic management systems, and specialized maintenance facilities are likely to become integral components of this ecosystem. The ripple effect may even extend to related sectors, including real-time monitoring and data analytics, which will play a crucial role in optimizing flight operations and ensuring safety in an increasingly complex airspace. Investors and policymakers are keeping a close watch on these developments. The early successes of autonomous flying taxis in China provide a real-world case study of how emerging technologies can be effectively integrated into a tightly regulated urban environment. As the technology proves itself, it is expected that aviation authorities around the world will use China's experience as a reference point when designing their own regulatory policies. This could lead to a more harmonized global approach to urban air mobility ultimately facilitating international collaboration and technological standardization. The transformative impact of China's regulatory approval for commercial autonomous flying taxis is multifaceted. It represents not just a technological breakthrough, but also a strategic initiative with the potential to reshape economic structures, urban planning, and international regulatory norms. As cities around the world grapple with issues of congestion and sustainability, the lessons learned from China's pioneering efforts may well serve as a catalyst for a broader transportation revolution. The approval of commercial autonomous flying taxis by the CAAC is a watershed moment that underscores China's commitment to innovation and economic transformation. With companies like Ehang and Hefei Hei Airlines leading the charge, the nation is poised to redefine urban mobility and set new standards for the future of aerial transportation. While challenges in public acceptance and regulatory harmonization remain, the long-term prospects for a safe, efficient, and economically vibrant low-altitude economy appear brighter than ever. As the world watches closely, China's bold leap into the skies is not just a glimpse of the future, it is a tangible step towards reshaping how we navigate our increasingly interconnected urban landscapes.